carnivorous plants have the most bizarre adaptation. These plants obtain nutrients by trapping and digesting various invertebrates, frogs, and small mammals. Here are eight meat-eating plants that will give you the creeps. If you love watching our videos, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so we will always keep you informed on the most weird and bizarre out there. We also love hearing from you, so leave comments too. Number 8, the mouse eating pitcher plant. They have a large appetite for meat. These plants are jug-like, half filled with rainwater, acids, and enzymes. Pitcher plants secrete nectar along their rim to lure in prey. Typically insects, rats, mice, and lizards. Their pitchers can be as large as a football and are often found to also trap giant centipedes and spiders up to four inches long. Number seven, the deadly sundew. Covered in dewdrops that sparkle in the sun. They are beautiful, ornamental plants. They're also deadly, attracting insects with dew on the tips of their tentacles. All species of sundew are able to move their tentacles, bending in toward the center of the leaf to bring the insect into contact with as many glands as possible. Once an insect is trapped with the sticky mucilage, the plant releases enzymes to digest them. The nutrient soup that is left behind by the dissolved insect is then absorbed into the leaves of the plant. Number 6, the giant montane pitcher plant is the largest meat-eating plant in the world. It's big enough to trap rats. But there's another taste it prefers besides meat, is poop. Specifically, the waste of the tree shrew. This plant is perfectly happy, serving as a toilet for the tree shrew. It uses nectar to lure the shrews close and then collects their waste in its giant pitcher. This bizarre plant was specifically designed by nature for this strange relationship between plant and animal. Number 5. The flypaper plant. It's evolved with a special ability of trapping insects on the surface of their leaves, just like flypaper, liquefying their prey and then absorbing it. These plants have specialized glands scattered across the surface of their succulent leaves that produce visible wet droplets, attracting bugs that are in search of water. For the unfortunate bug, who chooses to land upon this little plant, struggling is not just futile, but counterproductive. It causes the insect's body to come into contact with more sticky glands, which traps the insect even further. Number 4, the Cobra Lily. Typically found in streams or bogs fed by cold mountain water, the Cobra Lily is also known as the California Pitcher Plant. Its tubular leaves are arranged in such a way that from certain angles the plant resembles a cobra about to strike. Once an insect is lured inside, lubricating secretions and downward pointing hairs prevent their prey from escaping. Once the insect gets tired of trying to escape, it falls down into the water and drowns. Then it's broken down by acids and absorbed by the plant. Number 3. The Venus flytrap. This carnivorous plant has the most visible, eye-popping reflex as if it was alive. Trapping beetles, spiders, ants, grasshoppers, and even frogs. When the trap lobes are open, it lures its prey with juicy-looking pink flesh and the smell of rotting meat. When the hairs on the surface are stimulated by prey, the trap clamps shut. As the prey struggles, the lobes are closed, even tighter, sealing its fate. The plant starts the process of digesting its food alive. Number 2, the purple pitcher plant. Its large leaves resemble tall pitchers, partially filled with water. They are also good mimics of flowers that fools insects. The leaves are purplish red, making them a lure to insects, who are probably also attracted by the decaying odor have already trapped prey inside. Once the prey enters the hollow leaf, it falls into a pool of water. 
the pitcher plant supplies a wetting agent that wets the prey's wings, preventing it from flying and escaping. Number 1, the butterwort plant. The leaves are yellowish in color, where they get their name, butterwort. The leaves also have short hairs, which secrete sticky mucilage. Insects become stuck in this sticky mucilage, which they mistake for water or nectar. The edge of the leaf slowly rolls over to grasp its prey, but never completely closes. When the insect is digested, the leaf edges unroll and become flat again, ready to trap its next meal. Please don't forget to subscribe and like, also turn on notifications, so you don't miss a thing. See you next time, on the most, weird, and bizarre.